Let's take a look at how to register and log in to the BunkSpeed server to gain access to assets for your projects. Anytime that you launch one of the BunkSpeed products, starting with the 2012 version, you'll notice here in the upper right hand corner that there's a login to BunkSpeed link. When we click on that link, it's going to pop up a little window that will allow you to log into the BunkSpeed server. If you haven't already registered, you'll first have to click on the register link. Clicking on this link will take you to a page on our site that will allow you to enter a username, email, and password. And this will get you all registered to be able to log in to the server. If we enter our email and password, and log in, you'll notice a couple of changes. Up here in the right hand corner, of course, it's going to say now that I'm logged in as Drakenator, my screen name. And it's going to display two buttons here. One that shows the local library that we have stored on our local hard drive as well as the server library as indicated here by the little globe. If we select that tab, it's going to now display all the assets that are stored on the BunkSpeed server. If we browse these assets, such as materials, let's just go ahead and click on composites here, it's going to show us little green check marks next to the assets that we already have downloaded to our local machine. Any asset that doesn't have a little green check mark is one that resides on the server but not yet here on our own local hard drive. We can download all the different types of assets that you'll find here in a project, including projects themselves. So if we go to the project section of the asset library, we'll see here that I already have two of the projects within that folder, but there's a third, the Camaro69.bif. This bunk speed project file still resides on the server, but not yet here on my local drive. All we need to do is go ahead and drag and drop that here into our project. That's going to start the download process. As soon as it's done downloading, it's going to open that project. Now, depending on the size of that project or other asset that you're downloading and the bandwidth for your internet connection, this process could take a couple of minutes. And there it is. So once that project is done downloading and has been opened, you'll now notice that there's a little green check mark next to the little thumbnail for that project up on the Bunk Speed server. This project has now been downloaded and you will find that it is now also stored on your local hard drive. At this point, we can continue to download more assets and or even log out of the server. And we're ready to work with this file locally now.